arm for a battery storage system at Vermont's State House. As Calvin Cutler explains, after Vermont's insurance carrier pulled the plug on a power backup at the People's House, the project is once again moving forward. Vermont State House is full of political power, and in just a few weeks, battery power. When something is new and it's innovative, it's really important to continue to move forward with that technology. Vermont received national attention several years ago for installing backup batteries in the basement of the State House. The $400,000 lithium ion power pack aimed at providing backup power for the State House for when the power goes out, like this blackout earlier this legislative session. But not long after, the state's insurance carrier pulled the plug on the project, citing the risk of a battery fire. There was national code that was adopted, has not been adopted locally in Vermont, which regulated or prohibited the use of large battery backup systems in the basement of the state house. Now, the batteries will be stored in a secure, climate-controlled storage shed outside of the state house. Core Power President Jay Bellows says most battery packs like these are already installed outside. That battery has control and BMS, a battery management system in it, making sure that all the voltage levels are, are equal and working appropriately. That's at the module level, at the rack level, and then at the system level as well. Battery storage is expected to play a critical role in Vermont's energy transition. On cloudy, rainy, or snowy days, renewable generation like solar and wind can't be counted on. Stored energy might make the difference in keeping the lights on. While we're really kind of defossilizing our energy generation and moving towards renewable energy, energy, we have to identify the fact clearly that Mother Nature makes energy when she wants to, not necessarily when we need it. Experts with Renewable Energy Vermont say as more of society adopts battery power, the insurance marketplace will smooth out. You haven't heard about any of these problems on the residential side. There is no homeowner who cannot get homeowner's insurance because they put a battery in their basement. The Inflation Reduction Act will also help ramp up battery installations like these in the coming years. The batteries right now are in Waterbury, where they're getting one last look over before being installed here in Montpelier in the next six weeks. Reporting in Montpelier, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.